There have been no collision or accident reports from the Cedar Mountain Lodge area, but search and rescue put up a helicopter and they're canvassing. Right now I'm just waiting for GH to send a complete list of passengers on the bus, so I'll keep you posted, okay? Okay, thanks. I uh, obviously won't be able to make dinner. Oh, no, it's okay. You've got an important job to do. We can go to dinner anytime. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> you know, there are uh, a lot of frantic parents in Port Charles tonight. I don't even want to imagine the horror they must be going through. Family is everything. I know there's nothing I wouldn't do. One of mine were in trouble. It's so dark. Cold out there. I should have been with them. We're trying, Carla. We're trying. Oh, I was supposed to go on the trip. But it seemed like too much trouble, so I sent Olivia in my place. You can't, you can't blame yourself because of an accident. Oh, God, I'm so focused on such petty crap. When's it finally going to sink in that my kids mean more than anything? I should have been with him. You didn't find Morgan? Morgan either got out of the bus and he's hunkered down somewhere or he's thrown further up the embankment, like near where we found Olivia. Well, let's go up there. Does the flashlight work? Yeah. You reach the split up? Yeah. Please don't. No one should be out there alone. Yeah, that's one of the first rules of wilderness survival. Don't head off alone if you can possibly avoid it. So maybe we should split up into teams? Fine with me. Someone should stay here, though, to coordinate operations. Why don't you, since you seem to be running everything already? Oh, look, guys, I, uh, I don't want to freak you out. But I don't want to get your hopes too high. Look, it gets steeper the further north we go with the wreck. There's rocks and trees. And even with the moonlight and flashlights, the chances of us finding Morgan in the dark are pretty slim. Well, slim counts. You guys, listen. Now what? I think I hear a truck. Be careful! I'm heading down to take over the ER desk. When the injuries are inbound, call me. Okay, I will. I shouldn't be sitting here. I should be taking care of my patients. No one will fault you for taking a moment under the circumstances. I'm scared. I know. I'm really scared. I know. I know. Dr. Porter, 2505. Thank you. Oh, Robert, I'm so sorry. What's going on with Trish? There's been no word from the site, and um, you don't no know anything specific about anything that's I going don't. on. I'm sorry. Well, I have to take this. Okay. This is. You're kidding me, right? I mean, my God. There's a, there's a bus full of kids, and they don't know anything? You can tell me there's no GPS and no cell phones? You know, this is a world of technology, and, and, and they're on a bus Alexis. of kids, and there's no GPS. Alexis! What? You gotta calm down now. I shouldn't have let him go. Okay, you can't keep the girls under glass any more than I can Michael and Morgan. You gotta let them live their lives. That's what you need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. If you uh, if you hear about your mother, I'm sorry, we don't have any news. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? What's wrong with my mother? Uh, you didn't know. She, she went on the ski trip at the last second. She was on the bus that crashed. You're the ironic thing, Doug. I don't even ski. <laughs> I just want to go up to the mountains and, you know, look at the snow. It was just uh, sit in a nice uh, hotel lobby in front of a big fire, you know, uh, with a good book and a hot toddy, and just, uh, just not move. <laughs> you need to here sometimes. Is that what's going on here, Doug? I understand that, but I'm still waiting for the final passenger list. Okay, thank you. Hey, didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh, I don't mind slumming it with a copper over a roast beef on rye and tibet coffee. What I don't want to do is hover or get in your way. In fact, I'd like to help. Is there anything I can do? Well, uh... Honestly, you might want to consider going over to GH and donating some blood. This just came in for you. Thanks. 
see that we might be looking at a triage situation. Okay. What is it? It's uh, my son. My son was on the bus. Cameron was so excited. This was his first big boy trip without me, his first time on skis. This was, was supposed to be a really fun experience for him. I know. I know. You just have to try and keep faith. I don't believe that Cam will come home safe except no other turn. You keep reminding me. As much as you need me to. You all right? No, I'm not all right. It's not fair. I, I, it's not fair. I mean, they're kids. They're, 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 they're supposed to be having fun. They're not supposed to be on, a, on some mountain road, cold or listen, hurt. Listen, our kids are strong in different ways. They're going to get through this. Anything else is unthinkable. As soon as I hear something, I'll let you know. You okay? Uh, no, this is like a, it's just like a nightmare. I mean, bad enough that Michael and Morgan and Christine were on that bus, but my, my mother too. I'm just I'm just scared, I guess. Jostle your arm. You did. I'm too numb to care. Sorry about all this. All the trips I decided to take you on. No, don't apologize. I wanted to come. And even if I'm not glad to be in this situation, I'm at least happy that I'm here with you. No self diagnosing. Let me be the doctor. You're rubbing your mouth. Put these under your tongue. When I make manicotti, you can comment all you want. You <laughs> make manicotti. And about as well as you ski. <laughs> I can even boil an egg. Um, Literally. I tried once. Um, and I forgot about it when all the water boiled away. <laughs> and they all exploded. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to come. I've been known to overreact a little bit in my life. That's what I do. And, uh, that's what's going on here. You feel free to never let me live it down, okay? But, um, but in the meantime, just in case, you gotta promise me to find my son, okay? And you'll tell him that I love him. Anything in the world. Can you go any faster, Carla, they're Jason? Trying. The roads are icy, okay? It's not going to help anybody if we get into an accident. We need to keep watching the roadside, look for skid marks or a break at the guardrail. You know, just check in with 911. Somebody should have reported something by now. Can you see them? It's too dark. I hope Michael doesn't hurt himself trying to get to the top of the embankment. Michael will be fine. He'll get all the way up just in time to stop the truck. We'll get help and emergency workers will search for Morgan. Just hang on, Chrissy. It's almost over. 